everybody knows that if you have acne then you've probably caught it from somebody else and not only that you eat lots and lots of fried oily greasy foods and you smear large tubes of oil on your face essentially you deserve it right hello everybody and welcome to dr k explains it all the youtube channel that aims to educate you on your health journey and not only that but arm you with a barrel load of information so you can make better decisions about your health welcome to my fourth video on skin problems Throughout this series, I'm going to be helping you to understand more about common issues that can affect black skin. For the full playlist, click the icon over here to my right. And if you want to subscribe to be alerted on when I release new videos, then click the subscribe button somewhere down here. Again, the more you do it, the more you give, the more you get. It's part of the whole karma, yin and yang, that keeps the world going around. So, why not? We've been on a bit of a journey together, you and I, and we've actually talked about quite a few different things. We've covered skin cancer in black people, we've talked about keloids and other annoying skincare conditions. Today, we're going to be moving on to the big league now. We're going to be talking about one of the most common skin issues there is, and that is acne, acne, acne everything acne jazz hands included because acne is such a big issue i could be here all day really folks i could be here all day talking to you about everything acne related but i think i'll spare you guys that and break this topic into smaller parts today's video will therefore be focusing on what acne is and what causes it. My other videos will focus more on things like treatment, other types of acne, etc, etc. Okay, acne, also referred to as spots, zits, pimples, is very common, especially in teenagers and young adults. At some point, 8 out of 10 people will have them. However, it's not just a teenage thing. And some unlucky people can end up having adult acne up to the ages of 40. It can vary from being quite mild and just having a couple of spots here and there to quite severe acne and scarring. Acne usually affects three areas and those are your face and that's the most common, followed by your back and then the chest area being a distant third place. There are six types of spots caused by acne. One, blackheads. And these often appear as small, tiny brown or black spots just on the skin. Despite popular belief, blackheads are actually not full of dirt. They're usually just clumps of dead skin and the reason that they're black or brown in color is because of the extra pigment called melanin, which makes them look darker. Number two, whiteheads. These are similar to blackheads, but they may feel firmer to touch. Number three, papules. And these are small red bumps that might feel tender when you press on them. Number four, pustules. These are similar to papules, but they sometimes have a white center which is full of pus. Number five, nodules, which are large hard lumps that build up beneath the skin and can be painful. Six, cysts. This is the most severe type of spot caused by acne. They're large pus filled spots that look similar to boils and carry the greatest risk of scarring. If you take a closer look at your face, you will see that it's covered in tiny little hairs, which is perfectly normal. These hairs come out of little tiny holes called hair follicles. Sebaceous glands are tiny glands found near the surface of your skin. The glands are attached to the hair follicle and produce oils called sebum, which keeps your skin nice and supple. As you can see, I've got a picture of a hair follicle, which shows the shape of the hair follicle where the sebaceous gland is and you can see that everything is nice and open. In acne, the sebaceous glands produce too much sebum or oil and this builds up inside the hair follicle. 
This excess oil mixes with dead skin cells and both combine together to form a plug, which then causes a blockage inside this hair follicle. This is what causes the white heads or black heads that you see on the surface of the skin. This situation can get much worse when the usually harmless bacteria that live on our skin go in and contaminate and infect these blocked follicles, causing infection and inflammation and you get a red, fresh, hot, new pimple that shows up on your skin. If not treated properly, this is what leads to scarring and after effects. During puberty, there's a lot of changes going on and an increase in the hormone called testosterone. The sebaceous glands that we talked about before are very sensitive to these hormones. The increased levels of testosterone causes these sebaceous glands to produce much more sebum or oil than the skin actually needs, thereby increasing the chances of the follicles becoming blocked. This may also explain why boys tend to suffer more with acne than girls do. Changes in hormone levels during certain times of the month, such as during the menstrual cycle or pregnancy, can also lead to episodes of acne in women. Acne is known to run in families. So if both your mom and your dad had acne, it's likely that you will also have acne. Right guys, I'm going to have to come clean and be honest with you. Contrary to what I said in the clickbait intro, there is zero as in no evidence, zero, nothing, 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 no evidence that your hygiene levels, your diet, whether you eat greasy food, whether you live with somebody that has acne, whether you've touched somebody's acne spots, none of this has a bearing on whether you will get acne. We're now at the end of this video and now we know that acne is the result of a blockage in the hair follicle as a result of excess oil or dead skin to an infection in the hair follicle. I'm all for keeping things simple. So now that we know how acne is caused and what happens for any acne treatment to work, it needs to unblock the hair follicle and get rid of the excess oil and dead skin or kill the infection that's going on inside. There it is. There's no magic to it. There's no secret cures. There's no kind of weird and wonderful mumbo jumbo. So next time you go to see anybody or look at any product for your skin, bear this in mind. That's it. So there we go, guys, all done. I hope you found this video on acne really helpful. And if you did, like and comment. This video is part of a series of videos on skin problems. Check out the full playlist to the side. And also, not only that, feel free to subscribe to be alerted when I release new videos. And I'll look forward to seeing you in part two, coming up soon. Stay tuned.